What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay Renee, with Prison Ride Radio. I hope that you're doing well. This afternoon, we got a brother on the phone by the name of Shaquille Davis. And he's going to talk to us about his website, all right, Tales from a Convict. So, let's jump right into it. What's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing good, you know, holding it down. Okay, that's good to know. Um, we appreciate you for pulling up on us, you know what I mean, to talk to us about what you got going on, so... We're going to jump right into it. Tell the people a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Oh, my name's Shaquille Davis. I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Born and raised, you know what I mean? Hold it down for Southern Ohio. You know what I mean? I ended up getting incarcerated at the young tender age of 18 and caught a life sentence. And um, starting on my bed, I kind of started out as a kid thinking I was grown, trying to move on stuff I wasn't supposed to be on, get into things I wasn't supposed to be getting into end up leading me down several bad paths. But over time, and being around a whole lot of solid good dudes, I end up learning and getting better knowledge to be um, to learn how to move like a grown man, become an incarcerated author, entrepreneur, and advocate for others in my situation. Mm-hmm. For, so for sure on that, congratulations on being a published author. That's not an easy feat, you know what I mean? Especially from behind the G-Wall, so definitely congratulations on that and your other achievements. Um, I want to stay in the past for a second. Like, how was it growing up? And you said Southern Ohio. How was it? Yeah. Yeah, how was it, like, growing up there? Well, like, my little city, it's not like, you know, right next to Columbus. And, like, uh, so, like, my little city, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm light-skinned, so I'm a little mixed breed for real, so I'm half and half. So my little city has always been on kind of mixture between uh, dark skin and then white people. And, like, you got us right in the middle. So it's always been kind of a confusing road living right in between that because, you know, one day we'd be in the streets doing this, this, and that. But on the other side, it's like the country type of people live on the type of side. So it's been kind of weird almost kind of living on both sides of the, of the wall and kind of experience a little bit of both sides. You know what I mean? Okay. Instead of me just being able to tell it from one side, it's, it's, just, it's just been a good experience for me for real. Okay. All right. So let me ask you. Let's jump into... You know your website. Um, not everybody got a website. You know what I mean, um, and especially one that's like yours. So let's get into that. Um, tell us about your website and what made you create it. Uh, well, I started out as a uh, as a knucklehead when I was real young, and one of my issues that I never had no real outlets. And down the line, one of my best hours had become writing, just writing stories about anything in life. I've always been creative, but I just wrote, write, just write. But I ended up coming across a real good dude named uh, Justin Guyton, who actually tried to help me put that knowledge and experience into, uh, into real words, ended up actually getting my first book published. But as I continue to try to do these different avenues of promotion and try to do this and that from behind the walls, I ended up hitting several walls and uh, roadblocks because I- I'm incarcerated. So I try to find a way to try to help bridge that gap for those also incarcerated who also got uh, books or just want to be writers or want to learn how to write, period, for that help them find outlets, express themselves, and try to help uh, give them the knowledge they need to better express themselves into other ways that doesn't uh, cause them to catch more time or affect their bid. So I was just trying to find good positive outlets I ended up finding that I was actually able to monetize also through my blog, pen pal, and um, store type of website. Just that kind of panders more to people that's incarcerated. That's always been real close to my heart. Okay. All right. So writing, you know what I mean? Um, writing is one of those things that everybody can't say that they're good at. You know what I mean? So being able to express yourself that way. It's definitely um, a blessing and puts you, you know what I mean, stands you out from the rest of the people, how they express themselves. Um, so what is something on there, like, what do you, like, you know, pitch your website. Like, why should people check it out? People should check it out if they actually want to hear how real prisoners live and not just go off what they see on TV over, over exaggerations that's uh, promoted by the media as almost propaganda for how they present and treat people that's locked up. People on my website are real convicts talking about their real experience and how they're really feeling. Like the thoughts and everything that you see on it is the actual thoughts. 
It ain't people from the streets coming in writing stuff. These are real incarcerated people who's actually been through the mud, lived through the struggles of being locked up and dealing with incarceration, isolation, and solitary every day, writing how they truly feel. So if you actually want to get into the actual mind of a real incarcerated convict, you got to check out the website and stuff. You got to get into the mind. Man, they white, black, murderers. Uh, burglars, it doesn't matter. So you better get into the mind. Any type of confidence you actually see and feel and know what a real incarcerated person goes through and thinks about what he's locked up. Yeah. What you're doing is very important, a very important part of history. I don't think you really realize how important what you're doing is. You know what I mean? Um, this is something that years from now, decades from now, people might be tapping into to gain knowledge from or write their dissertations and stuff. You know what I mean? So what you're doing is really important. We definitely encourage you to keep at it. Um, but tell us, you know, what does the future hold? Like, what else you trying to get into or what you got going? Oh, uh, man, I'm, I'm trying to do so much more stuff. One of my biggest things I want to do is there's so much untapped talent and, and, and skills within uh, behind prison walls that people don't even realize it. Like people think that because we're locked up that we're no longer who we are or have no use to society anymore. But there's so much good people in here with so many good talents that can be used and explored for people on the streets and stuff, rather it's painting, drawing, uh, writing, um, just doing anything. Like, like, like we are still people. Like we're still citizens of the world even though we might have got caught up and got in trouble and stuff, but we still have uses and purposes for people on the streets and people that be overlooking it. You know what I mean? So there's so many type of ways I want to try to do down the line to help promote and help people that's locked up to actually earn income and almost be able to take care of themselves when they're locked up so they ain't got to be treated like children and have to beg other people, beg their outside family for money to be take care of grown people and stuff. Yeah, that's a part of the whole mental part of it. You know what I mean? You said a lot there. With just that sentence, being able to do something for yourself can mean a lot. And even, like, being able to do enough to give back to your peoples, you know what I mean? That's something major right there. Um, I know we ain't got too much time, bro. I want to give you an opportunity to address the people about anything that's on your mind. You can drop some gems on us. Let us know something we should know. The floor is yours. Man. It ain't what you really think or what you see on TV, man. There's a lot of real good people, man. We ain't in here like Hannibal Lecter just beating and killing and doing this and that for each other, man. There's a lot of good, solid brothers and sisters that's locked up. And, like, it's a struggle every day when people keep trying to treat us like we're nothing or like we're less than someone else because we're locked up, man. All we want to be do is get the same respect as people on the streets as who we used to be and not be treated as less than because of that. Like, we're still humans and stuff. We still have use. We just made a mistake. You know what I mean? And I just wish and hope that people on the outside that's never met someone locked up or just see us on TV and say that's all of us can actually overlook those stereotypes and see us for the real good people that we are and know that that much three of us don't even deserve to be locked up. You know what I mean? All we want is another chance just like anyone else. All right. Let the people know how they can get in contact with you, bro, or you, and make sure you let them know the website again so they'll have it. Oh, the name of the website is www.talesfromaconvict.com. I started it with my wife, so we're going to be right on the front. Uh, 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 we got several social medias, at Tales from a Convict, through X, um, IG. Um, we also got Snapchat, which is going to be the same thing, at Tales with uh, TFAC. And um, uh, we got LinkedIn also from Tales from a Convict. Check us out, man. Show your love, show your support, man. You know, we'd be much appreciated, man. All we're trying to do is help build it, man. It takes a team, man. Take take the team to actually make any type of change in this system. It takes the system to change the system.